Hi, I'm Linda from Bartlardy's Body Blitz and this is my fur baby Mini. Hopefully she's a good girl and doesn't distract us too much. Today is target 10 quads. So we're focusing on the front of the thighs. We're going to be using a resistance loop, which is basically just like a Pilates band, but in the form of a loop. So if you do not have one, you can tie a Pilates band into a loop shape. Mine is medium resistance, just to intensify some of the exercises. If you do not have one, you can also use ankle weights or even do the whole workout without. So we've got 10 rounds of 60 seconds of work, no breaks in between, but if you need to slow down at any point, then do so. If you need to take a micro break, do so. But I'm gonna try and push all the way through. The first couple of exercises will act as a warm up, but if you are in a particularly cold climate, make sure you warm up extra and then come back when you're ready. So put the loop on just above the knees, and that's where it's pretty much gonna live for the first couple of exercises. So it can be nice and flat, but if it starts curling up, don't worry about it too much because we're going to focus on really squeezing and this is just adding a bit of resistance. As long as it's not cutting you or hurting you in any way, just leave it even if it rolls up. So come into a kneeling position, tuck your hips slightly, your feet are together and you can put your hands at your waist. Now just start sitting back and pushing up. So you're trying to push your hips forward and it's like coming down with control. It's not like you're sitting down like this. You're controlling on the way down and then pushing forward. You're pushing your hips to the front, trying to make almost like a straight line from your hips all the way down to your knees and really trying to squeeze the front of those quads all the way up, even those hip flexors really stretching out, down and up. Large range of motion to start to really heat up the muscles and wake everything up. Squeezing your glutes will help you to push forward even more. You're slightly leaning back with that chest as well. 10 seconds and then we're gonna start going side to side. Changing those angles a little bit. Five, four, three, two, and one. So we're gonna come down to the side and push across, down to the side and push across. If you need to bring your knees together a little bit more, you can. And so we're coming as if we're sitting to the side, then pushing on that same diagonal and push. It's down, push, down, push. If this is a little bit awkward for you, you can just go down and center, down and center. That's your option if you don't feel like pushing across the body. And hopefully this isn't hurting your knees, but if it is, double up your mat and try not to get onto that really bony part of the knee because you don't want to injure yourself there. 14 seconds, so doubling your mat is a good idea or even putting a little cushion under there. After this, we're gonna sit down on our butt. Four, three, two, one. So sitting down, bring your loop around your ankles and now we're gonna start anchoring the back leg keeping this straight and just lifting up and down. So if you want to, you can just lean back a little bit more. The further you lean back, the less of the hip flexor you're using. So if you find your hip flexor taking over a lot, come all the way down here. All we're doing is keeping our legs super straight and pointing the toe and squeezing up. So here, you should feel your quad straight away the front here. Make sure your knee is up to the ceiling and it's not turning out to the side. You've got your shoulders down, so don't hunch up like this. And a few more seconds and it should start adding up very quickly now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now want out and in, bend, press, bend, press. So you're keeping your legs straight you're going directly to the side, then press, press. Out and in, press, press. So you're hovering that leg, and once again, if you prefer to be down here, you're still gonna feel your quad, but you're not gonna feel the hip flexor quite so much, or your abs quite so much. So it's your choice where you wanna be. Out and in, press, press. This is tough, really squeeze. Out and in, squeeze, squeeze. 23. So we've got a pointed toe. We're going to flex the foot next. 
press, press. And we're going to do pushes with the bottom of the foot as if we're pushing some cement blocks away. Out and in, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we're pushing with the foot, we're coming in towards your chest and then pressing away. Now if you want to, you can put the loop at the bottom of your foot. That may be better for you so that it doesn't move around so much on your ankle. You wanna have a bit of a gap between your two legs that will make sure that there's tension on the outer thigh as well, because like we like to multitask, may as well work both. And you're pushing away, pretending that you're either shutting a heavy door or there is that cement block there and you're really squeezing at the end, trying to straighten out behind the knee and feeling the squeeze at the front there. Once again, this is your option. Push, 18, 17, really squeeze it. You should be feeling a major burn there. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five. You can do this. Three, two, one. Now point the toe again and slightly turn out and then push against the band and you're doing tiny circles. You're pushing against the band with the front of your foot and you're trying to keep that leg straight. It really burns. If you want to be down here, then just keep that leg straight and you've got tension horizontally. Turning the foot out means you're still engaging the quad even though it is on an angle. Keep going, now reverse it. Breathe. This is the last thing on this side, then we're switching sides. Keep circling, point the toe, keep the leg super straight. I know you want to bend, I know it burns. Just keep alternating. If you're trying to, your hardest to stay up and it's just not, not working for you, come down on your elbows for a bit and then sit back up for the last five, four, three, two, one. Quick transition, maybe flatten it out again and we're coming exactly to the same thing, up and down, up and down. So now we're on a fresh leg. Make sure you've got that distance horizontally you're pushing out of your shoulders. You're trying not to slouch. You're trying to keep that leg super straight. Here's your option. If you prefer, make sure your tummy's pulled in and you're keeping that kneecap up to the ceiling. Breathe. 34, 29. So if you're up here with me, you're gonna feel that hip flexor here, but that will get stronger, I promise you. It will get stronger like any other muscle in the body, okay? So just keep at it. 15, 14. This is tough. The quads don't usually get worked in isolation like this. Generally, you do lots of squats and lunges to work them. So this burns big time. Three, two, one. Now it's out and in, bend, press, bend, press. Out and in and press and press. Try to keep your leg up with the kneecap to the ceiling. And here's your option. I'm taking this because I'm feeling that burn so much right now. Maybe it didn't help that I already did a bar workout this morning that worked the thighs really well. So I'm paying extra. I'm being tortured along with you. Don't worry, I'm feeling this. 32, bend, press, bend, press. Come on. This is one of the toughest ones, but I want you to fight. Grit your teeth. And keep going with me, just don't slack off. 19, 18. Again, if you need to lose the loop, that's totally fine. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, come on. We're flexing next. That one's an easier one. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So if you want to, around the sole of the foot and extend. Bend and extend. Ah, that feels so good in comparison. But still focus on pushing away with the bottom of your foot as if you're pushing that heavy sh door shut or that heavy cement block away from you. Is there still tension horizontally? Come down if you need to. You're breathing out as you push, pushing away. You wanna have that tension on the outer thighs as well, okay? It's gonna help you as well to not roll the loop up quite as much, although mine is fully rolled up, so I don't know what I'm talking about. 23, 22, push away, come on. We're burning, 
We're doing this together. We're shaping our muscles. 13 seconds. Keep pushing. Even if you need to slow down, even if your range of motion is smaller than mine, just keep pushing. Three, two, and one. Now point the foot, turn out the kneecap, and just start circling. Yes, yes, the circle. The dreaded circle. This burns so good. Kneecap is slightly on an angle to the front, and you're pushing with the top of the foot into that loop. Ah, oh, 10 seconds and then we reverse it and this is our last round. Don't drop your leg, whatever you do. Stay in it with me, now reverse. Stay in it with me, even if you're down here like me. I'm not gonna lie, this is burning big time. 20 seconds, come on, smile through it and then we're done. 15 seconds, you can do 15 seconds. Keep the leg super straight, especially behind the knee. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, all the way to the end. Three, two, one, done. Ah, oh, take that thing off. Make sure you stretch. Congratulations, that was not easy, but you made it through. See you at the next round.